Hey everybody, and today we're going to be looking at adding a grid to Game Maker, a visible grid. So first of all, I changed up a few of these settings in the room. You can do that if you want, it's not required though. So to start off with, we're just going to make a controller grid to start off with, and we're not going to have a sprite associated with this, because we want to have full control over what this looks like, so we're going to do it all through code. And just so we don't forget, I'm going to add it to the main level. It doesn't really matter where it's added, though. So what we're going to also want to do is we're going to want to create a script. And we're going to name this script draw grid. Okay. So what do we want this grid to look like? Well, to start off with, we're going to want every 32 pixels for there to be another line going down and in every 32 pixels also a line going across so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do var w equals 2 we use this var variable because well we're going to have a width for this line we want it to be bigger than one because one might be kind of hard to see and also we're just going to set the color to C orange for now. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, depending on your game. You might want to change it somewhere else, but it's a good thing to have just for now. It'll look really nice. And then we're going to want to do a for loop. So for var i equals zero, i is less than room height. So we want this grid to draw across the entire room. And then i plus equals 32. We do 32 because, well, of course, it's gonna there's going to be another line every 32 pixels. So it's pretty simple. Just draw line width. And then we're going to want to start it at 0, i, room width for the x2. And then for the y2, we, want, we still want it to be that. And... We have a W here. Now this is the width again. We want our width to be 2 here. And we can change it as necessary. Okay. And then we're just going to want to copy this code. And do this based on room width. And then all we need to do is switch the I to here. Because we want it to be the variable to be on the X axis. And we can have this at 0. We can have this as i again. And we'll have this as the room height. I guess it's kind of confusing to have height and width and width and height. But this should all work out. Now all we need to do in the step event is add this script. So that's pretty simple. There we go. Now I'll just save that and let's try playing this. It didn't work. Okay, well, oh, here's the mistake. We need to put it in the draw event actually. Sorry about that. Okay. So here you go. Now I think this does look pretty cool, but we might want to change this to one pixel just to see how this looks. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, the orange and black colors look really nice together, I think. And it can really go for something interesting. Of course, you might want to change this up a lot. You might want it to be every 16 pixels. And you might want to use this in different ways. We could also do some sort of thing where you add arguments to this. So inside here, you write some sort of things like... Like maybe you want some sort of, maybe you want to choose the color, so then in here you, you like add colors or something. But yeah, this can be very versatile and it's very simple to create. So let's try it. So yeah, you can have plenty of different colors of grids. So yeah, it's just basically a simple grid. Thank you for watching.